Tom Wheeler was recently inducted into the Southern Illinois Coaches Hall of Fame. The lifelong Southern Illinois native has spent years collecting and putting together sports memorabilia from local players and athletes. But me explaining it simply doesn't do it justice. Let's take you to Tom Wheeler's garage. When I first stepped into the garage, I was blown away by the amount of history in the room. Tom's got everything from newspaper clippings to game balls to jerseys. I can go back and find a story. Peyton Mauser is a pretty good football player, you know, and Colin Savita, who's hurt, you know, a great little athlete. Why well, can go back and find clippings on their dads? What well, once started as collecting a story on a speeding ticket from one local athlete quickly became a regional treasure, a place Tom often goes to look back on fond memories. A lot of times I will come and just... Uh, you know, I will, I will pull out, okay, what happened in 1991, you know, how the kids do. And then I like to, I like to think back, oh, you know, that's Chad Woodland, you know, that was his senior year. And now he's got a boy that's a senior, you know, and I think it brings back memories. And, and when you get old, I guess you forget the bad memories. You just think of, of, of the good ones. He's got an entire pizza box dedicated to stories and newspaper clippings on his dear friend, Rich Heron a legendary coach at Benton and Southern Illinois. He's just an extraordinary person. He did so much for people that you don't even know about, you know. This is why I get in trouble, Kendra, because I, I, I come out here and I, I'll pick a box like this and, and then I, I go through all these clippings, you know. And Tom even went to high school with former Utah Jazz head coach and McLeansboro native Jerry Sloan. Looking at memorabilia in this corner brings him back to high school. I can remember Sloan, I guess in my sophomore year, he got hurt in football practice and they went and got one of those, you know, things, whatever you call them, to carry him in. And his arms and legs were so, I mean, they just hung down everywhere. It took like 15 of us sophomores to get him in. I don't know, four, five, eight, nine, ten years ago, I was just sitting here one night talking to somebody and showing him my pictures, you know, and he said, well, how well do you know him? I said, well, I'm going to call him. He answers and he said, uh, who is this? And I said, uh, this is Tom Wheeler. He said, Tommy D, how are you doing? You know, I mean, he's asking me, how are you doing? I said, no, Jerry, how are you doing? But that's the type of guy he was. And of course, as a father, he saved everything he can from his children's playing days. His son, TJ, was a star for the Illinois basketball team. These, when TJ was being recruited, uh, they would send out, the pro, you know, these programs. Like, here's Michigan State. Here's Maryland. Of course, I love to go through all the Illinois stuff. See, this is when T played. Here's Dion on the cover. This would be TJ's junior year. And him and Dion are still extremely, extremely close. And uh, it's still sort of hard to believe, you know, that's, that's Buckner's TJ Wheeler. But anyway, we're really blessed there. And all those who visit the garage get to sign a golf ball. Myself and News 3's photographer Carson had the honor of adding our names to this collection. Just an absolutely incredible garage filled with so much history. 